I'm taking a dead nap. Full fan coming in perfect. 
and I think you may have seen my barrel come up out of the blind, but he came out a fan. That's why I took the shot. That was awesome. This is a whopper of a turkey. Beautiful bird. He's got at least inch and a quarter spurs, at least. I mean, those are, and they're sharp. Man, those are huge. I've never, never gotten them that big. That's big. Beard is beautiful, thick beard. This bird came in picture perfect. I mean, you couldn't ask for a nicer day. I've got birds all around me. Unfortunately, my tag's done. I wish I had five more tags because I'd stay out here and do this all day, man. I love turkey hunting and I brought this bird in with the jag calls, pot call, and it is just a phenomenal call. Man, what a beautiful bird, huge fan. I bet you it's all a, yeah, that's at least a 25 pounder, 26 pounder, that's a nice bird. That's it, junkies. I'm loaded up, ready to party. Time to get out of here and head home, and go clean out this bird, and uh, get ready for the next hunt. Stay tuned for more junkie action. Outdoor Junkies is brought to you by Cunis Country, Bait Box on the Rock, Hunting Gear, Angsters Motorsports, Bear Sets, Custom Jigs and Spins, Bee Fish and Tackle, and these fine sponsors. This has been a Stone Lake production. What's up, junkies? It's the 2023 spring turkey season in Illinois. We're here with Bigger Buck Outfitters in Anderson County. And we have got gobblers in all directions of us right now. There's one that just went off again. Um, I'm really looking forward to this hunt. I got Chad with me filming. We've got a spin and strut out and two Xavian X decoys. Nice little flock. Hopefully these birds will see the decoys come running in and we get some right up in your face action. I'm going with a beast maker. The Benelli is going to regulate today. So we're going to try and knock the noggin off of one. Stay tuned. <laughs> All right, junkies. So it's the first day of our sit here with Bigger Buck Outfitters in Illinois, and the action sounds really good. Um, we've got birds all around us. The hens are starting to show up. We actually had a bearded hen come in. Unfortunately, the toms just didn't show up. Uh, I think that some of the boundary lines, there's a lot of rivers and fences from the neighbors, and I think that those were kind of deterring the birds from coming across. Now this season, we're down here in Illinois. We've only got two days to hunt. It's the end of the, the first season, which ends on Friday. It's the early season, and we only have two mornings and a little bit of the afternoon to get it done. The, the hunting stops at one o'clock in Illinois, and for this first season, you can't hunt Saturday or Sunday, so we had to come in on a Thursday and a Friday 
because of work, and those were the only options we had, and we thought we'd give it a shot and see what we could get done. So far today, we've had uh, temperature inks about four or five hands. Um, probably three times what they they got hung up on the river bank and the neighbor's property line just wouldn't commit. Nothing really gobbled on this side. It is what it is. It's turkey on. At least we didn't get skunked in action. Just looking for something with a little bit more wang. Those are just little guys. They uh this here's Jake's three inch beards. Probably 13 to 14 pound birds. So good for the turkey fryer. We're on mission. We're here to smoke a decent bird. So we'll see what happens. The season here closes at 1. It's 11.55. All we can do is wait. Doesn't really pay to run around right now if they're moving. Let's just spook them a lot here. <laughs> Day two junkies, we're in the blind. We're on a new farm. We've got a great big green field in front of us and a tom right to the left. Goblin his head off. He's only like 80 yards away from us. Hopefully he didn't see me setting up the decoys and he flies out and it's pound town. But we're going to be super, super uh, stealthy on this one because if he sees us moving in the blind, because he's right to the left, we're done. So it's the second day, Chad and I are in the blind. We're surrounded by birds. We've got these two young Jakes coming in. I'm still real hesitant on taking a Jake because it, this woods is just exploding with gobbles. I, I know there's a good bird out there somewhere. take long and this beautiful bird comes onto the field this thing looks like it's got a double 10 inch beard how thick it is that's a nice bird yes it is i mean it's just a monster of a rope huge bird we actually had a hen come out onto the field and he went the opposite direction he went up and over the ridge and disappeared and chad and i couldn't believe it we we're just like in awe looking at like what the heck just happened the ups and downs of turkey on. It's really making me regret not shooting that double bearded Jake. <laughs> After about an hour, Chad and I decided, okay, let's let's try and move and go up over the ridge and see if we can uh, try and find that bird or see if we can find another one. On our way up over the hill, there he was. He was out in the field. I tried the belly crawl on that bird. Didn't get close enough for a shot. It was about 70 yards out still. I needed a few more yards, but the hen caught me and they took off. So Chad and I set up. It's about 10 o'clock now. And 
at this point it's the last day whatever comes in you know it's probably gonna get cracked not even 15 minutes go by and this group of six seven jakes just come hauling in right into the spread right into the decoy they're all aggressive they're super tight so i had to sit there and wait and wait and wait until they separated finally one of them peeked its head up out of the way over the the back of the spinning strut i knew the other birds were clear and tack with it i'm not going back to wisconsin empty-handed i'm crushing this bird Like I said, I was gonna regret not shooting that double bearded Jake. <laughs> Got some meat to go back to Wisconsin. We're not leaving empty handed. Well, we got one down. Let's go get this big, big honker. <laughs> this is a beautiful, nice young Eastern bird. Beautiful colors on it. Not the biggest beard in the world, about a two, three incher. This year's Jake, but you know what? I'm happy. We're definitely going home with some meat. Good for the grill. Got a new fan for the decoy. Chad and I have put in a lot of time in the last couple days. We've been working a lot of birds. They just haven't been cooperating yet. I'm sure that as the season gets going, it's just gonna keep getting better and better down here. I'd definitely give Travis a call. If you're looking for a spring hunt, you can still book them now. That's not too shabby. Stay tuned, junkies. Hello, I'm Travis Bigger with Bigger Bucks Outfitters in Henderson County, Illinois. We offer white-tailed deer, coyote and turkey hunts so we're a family-run operation me my brothers my mom my dad we try to help everybody out as much as we can we donate hunts every year to different organizations just to help get kids out and um, handicapped hunters wounded warriors things like that we just we try to give back as much as we can yeah we're making a living doing this but we're, we're here for everybody we don't cater just to the to the the rich people you know we want the the blue collar factory worker, the farmer, the guy that saves up his money to go on a decent deer hunt to be able to afford to come on a good deer, coyote or turkey hunt and have a good time and see quality deer, big deer. If you want to go on a hunt, give us a call. Whether you're in a wheelchair or you've been hunting for 50 years or you bought your first bow and arrow last week and want to learn how to deer hunt, give us a call. We do youth hunts, archery, uh, turkey hunts, coyote hunts. If you want to try it, give us a call. We will hook you up with a hunt. We are halfway between Chicago and Kansas City on the railroad. One mile northeast of Media, Illinois, in Henderson County, Illinois. When you get here, we're going to make you feel at home. We're going to get you all settled in. We're going to have a little safety orientation. We're going to go get you tagged up, and then you're off on deer hunting. I was an iron worker for years and worked on the family farm here with my dad, my grandpa, my brothers for years. And when I turned about 40 years old, I just decided, you know, th this is what I want to do. When I was a little boy growing up with my grandpas and my dad, you know, the hunting shows, you couldn't turn on like the outdoor channel. If you wanted to watch a deer hunting show, you had to go to the gas station and rent a VHS tape of like Noel Feather or somebody like that, you know, and just go home and watch it. And we always thought, man, it'd be so cool just to hunt for a living, you know, be able to help people get out there and go hunt and help the kids and this and that. We want anybody to be able to afford to come here and deer hunt and have a good time, you know. It's, it's not the Hilton, but it's, it's our lodge and we love it and you're going to be comfortable here and you're going to have fun with us. So all hunting packages uh, include lodging, licensed guides and some food. We offer like a continental breakfast and it'll be nice. We'll bring in pizzas, uh, we'll cook it on the grill, things like that. But we also send our hunters out to some of the local restaurants and things like that just to, to help bring a little bit more money into the economy, you know, the local, the local economy. Through the summer, we offer, uh, you can rent the lodge out for a week at a time. Have, we have business retreats. We also offer uh, uh, business hunts. If you're a business owner and want to take some of your uh, employees or some of your clients out on different hunts, turkey hunts, deer hunts, things like that, get a hold of us. Uh, we offer season passes. With the season pass, 
Uh, you come and hunt anytime you want for a whole year. You deer hunt, turkey hunt, coyote hunt, come to lodge anytime you want, you get uh, free apparel. 2023 will be going into our sixth season. Right now we're right over 8,000 acres. By the fall of 23, we're, we're gonna be right around 9,000 acres. We got some more farms we're gonna pick up this summer. We offer a, a veteran discount uh, military, first responder, police officers, things like that. Uh, get a 10% discount on any hunting packages. Our lodge is 100% uh, handicap accessible, wheelchairs, things like that. We have blinds that are handicap accessible. Anybody that wants to come here and hunt can come here and hunt. Give us a call, we'll set you up with your deer hunt, your turkey hunt, your coyote hunt. All archery tags are over the counter in the state of Illinois, so you don't have to worry about sending it in for anything. And check us out on our website at bigger-bucks.com or you can call us directly at 309-337-8396 or check us out on Facebook, Bigger Bucks Outfitters or Travis Bigger on Facebook. So then I ducked down, tried to do the old belly crawl. That didn't work, the hen spotted me out. I probably looked like a bear sneaking up behind a turkey. <laughs> it was that little boy. We got one down, jumpy style. Got some meat to go back to Wisconsin. We're not leaving empty handed. Pound town did him. <laughs> Closed captioning is brought to you by Bear Sense. For more information, go to bearsense.com.